Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how we can convert CSV file to JSON format using JavaScript. I have made the script already, so the coding and the explanation will be faster. Let me show you what I've done so far. So all the coding I have finished, I'll explain you all about this. I'll show so going to the terminal new terminal I can run node package manager run serve so this is a Vue.js project and even if you are using Vue or uh, Angular or React everything will be same so this is what I have so far made. So how to read or pass CSV file in JavaScript. That's what the subject of this video. So we can choose a file. So this is a file around a 3.9 MB file. I'll just open it. When I submit the date, yeah, I have got all the data from the CSV. So quickly we can just go to the file again I'll see this is the file just I'll read it the file yeah this is the CSV file we are going to take into our JavaScript so I'll just once again I'll just do it we have no, da no data available just I will inspect so we have a view console there so we can inspect all the data there so we have an object that's a CSV data and has array of zero data so when we choose the file and submit it we get all the data available here so we can see around 100 objects are here so I'll just explain you all about that so we just go to the code okay here we have all the codes so about the HTML file so this is the this is the call for uh, browsing the data so we get the data from the uploader so this is a file input so it gets data so we i have added a reference here and the, and the reference name is file now i have uh, another uh, button here that's the button and in this click we do the work so we have a work here so that work is done by the method called CSV to JSON so this is a submit button and uh, we have another table uh, bootstrap table available so table has all the headings I have created all the headings here now we have the body table body in this bo body I have just uh, made a for loop so this is the for loop so we have a data and I that's I for the key so we have assigned the key here and all data in our CSV data that is this one here we have a data and in data we have only one array that's a CSV data so all the data from the CSV file will be applied to this CSV data so we just uh, make a for loop this is v4 in Vue.js so otherwise if you are in using Vue.js you can use uh, the library for loop here so we just take the data and uh, i that's the index key so 
we have a, a tr table row and we have a td that's a table data for this data i have just assigned the data here in these two curly braces we have one two three we have so many data available so for this purpose i have used a library a javascript library that is a papa pass papa pass okay so i have just imported this papa pass and i will show you how we can do it so going to another terminal just type this one npm install papa pass p a p a p a r a c papa pass and this will install the papa pass library into our system and just uh, type this command here import papa from papa pass so this papa can be anything else that you like to put and this one should be like this papa pass so this is the one important thing in creating this application so importing csv to json this is the data we have available here and all the data all the data after passing the data and the data will be applied here in this uh, data property and we have a method in this method we have one method that is one method that is a csv to json we have a variable that's a csv file and uh, this csv file variable gets a um, file so we have a reference here so we assign the file to this csv file then if we will check if the user has selected the data or not if the user hasn't uh, uh, selected any data then the csv file will be undefined so if the csv file is undefined then we will alert the user that they haven't selected any file so for that purpose i've just made a string so this is about please select the file that's what and i will just clear the csv data with an array so assigning an array to this csv file will remove all the data available in this csv data so i'll just return it will not continue again so if we have a file a csv file there then we assign this data to that so let that equals this to assign the data afterwards so we have papa this uh, import and papa dot pass and we are saying the csv file and we will pass few objects here this is the header one so when we are saying header we all all these these uh, configurations are very important because uh, they will do uh, work very nicely so we have the header and the header must be uh, uh, allowed to true so uh, likewise we have to uh, put this uh, dynamic typing to true likewise skip uh, empty lines true and uh, preview 100 so it will only uh, preview 100 uh, items so to get all the items from the there you can just uh, put zero or else you can just remove this uh, configuration so when we when the papa uh, completes the csv uh, file parsing it will come to this complete uh, function so this function will get the result and uh, we assign the data so whatever we have got from the result we assign the data 
to this CSV file. That's all about uh, um, converting CSV file to JSON object. This is the very simplest approach in converting CSV file to JSON format. So we'll just go to Papa Pass to see what are the configurations available. So I'll just go Yeah, this is the Papa Pass. So this is a good website. You can have a docu full documentations here how to do things and very easy to get the data from CSV to JavaScript, CSV to JSON object. So we'll just see uh, taking all the data. So we have around 36,000 data available in that uh, CSV file. So let me see how we can get all those data. So I have just made changes there. I'll save. I will go and choose the file again. So we have the insurance. So I will put the console ready. So we have zero data there. I'll just uh, submit. Since it's a uh, huge data, it will take a little time. Let me choose the file again. And uh, I'll see and inspect it. View. And the uh, array has the uh, zero values. When I submit the data, yes, we have a thousand data here. You can see all the data available. I hope you have got a little idea about uh, passing CSV file in JavaScript. Thank you.